Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back. Because if you don't know, I haven't been here for ages doing a video. I'm really sorry. I'll show you how to make one now. Well, I'm making quite a few actually. Anyway, so, yeah. If you haven't already, do subscribe. It does help. It really does help. You can unsubscribe later. So I'll just hit the bell icon so then you can now see the next video because one of the videos, if I can get it, look. One of the videos, remember when someone said, remember when I made the Xbox controller and I did a redo and it's not even that popular on the first one. Basically, yeah, basically, you guys must love that video. And someone said, hmm, where's the Xbox? Guess what? Xbox, Series X, the little thing. Now, I'm going to cut it in to make it look cool. So, as if you want that, please do subscribe. Hit the bell icon, click on, just click the bell like to subscribe, click on, you get all the videos when I upload. And that means that you guys, when I show you this, which will be not this, it will be showing you four things. A controller, the Xbox, a gaming headset, and the TV, which I've got right there. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, let's go get started into this video. So, as you can see here, you might be wondering, what are these? And then a few of you guys might maybe be going, wait, is it them origami pieces that he's only done one video showing us how um, to make one model? He hasn't, he's only done a bunch of videos how to fold it. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, I know. I know, I don't have a lot, but I am adding up now. Basically, I have done a few videos on how to cut them. As you can see, don't care if it's pink or purple, I'm just on that colour. I just cycle around, next is going to be white. I'm going to get cream one day. And as you can see here, you might maybe be wondering, how do I store um, all my origami pieces? Yeah, it's, yeah, basically all I have. Only in that box, you know. I got a full-on box full of them, as well as one out of 64. I'm going out of 16. You ready? Um, I'm not gonna, guys, make you so jealous of what I'm gonna got, but people out there are like, wow, you don't do a video. Yeah, I do have, yeah, um, a, a decent, yeah, a, yeah, a decent amount of colours. So, yeah, I'll show you how to store them. And let's go get started. So, first of all, though, if you guys want to know how to fold origami pieces, I'll show you in the description how to fold them and how to cut them as well in the video. Now in the video, on the first one, it shows you how to fold and cut them, or cut them and then fold them. But, in this video, as you might really be wondering, there will be, I have done another video where I've showed you how to cut it using knives, which that's what I use for my method, using a knife. Don't say, oh, are you even old enough for that? Yeah, I'm sure I'm not, but do not matter, I haven't cut myself. So, yeah, let's go get started into it. So, first of all, yeah, you do need to get it, but second of all, though, I was showing you how I store them using this handy little box right here. Basically, I got them in here. I got them using a rubber band. It's the first thing, how many pieces you have. Once you've done them, wrap them around in a rubber band. Just keeps them safe as well. Try and not get all these pieces just around everywhere. It does go on them, discolors them. And basically, I just do like this. I even go everywhere, you know, even in the car. I even take these in the car and just do it as well as... As well as do it while I'm watching YouTube, stuff like that. I just do it, and it's just, yeah. And as you can see here, we just fold the pieces, and I keep on doing it for every single one. And then once I'm done, I go on, get the rubber band, put it in the middle, and twist it as many times as you want. I just do two. I could sure I could do another one. Pop it there. Done. I can go send it somewhere else. Right, let's go back on in. Now we're on the bus. Because I'm going to school. Not really. I don't really go on the bus to school. Yeah, like that. So let's go and show you how to make the box. Here's the piece of paper. You do need A4. So let's go and get started. So what you want to do is you want to fold it in half. 
have shared this on my YouTube channel, but they do need to show you how to store these. If you are wondering, by the way, if you guys want to go in this, it's like Lego base because it's really fun to do anyway. So done that, fold it in half like this. Now you're going to get this, fold it so here, to here, like this. But guys, thanks for the subscribers, you know. More 30 subscribers. It might maybe be more by the time the video comes out. But at the end, though, it should be five, um, 30. But yeah, guys, do subscribe. It does make me happy. I never knew that I was going to actually have a full class to actually subscribe. So, fold them down, turn over, do it again. Now, once you've done that, is you now want to open both of these up. Just try and fasten that down. Now, what you want to do is you want to go and get this one and you want to turn it over like that. And then, with this bit, you want to go and press this down like this and fold on these. Then, what you want to do is you want to go and get this one and Fold it over like that, so you have this, and you repeat on the other side. Fold like this. Fold down, get this mark to here. Fold on the marks that we just did before. And fold back, and then you're going to just crease. Like this. And now you should have something like this. Now you want to do is you want to do the fit arrow face not and you're gonna get this and you're gonna go and get this and fold this to this fold right over here like this turn and do it same on the other side fold so it looks like this turn and you're gonna fold this to this that oh gosh this to this line like this, show you just what it's on video. And you'll fold this another time. Just like this. And then there you go, you're done. Now, repeat that all on the other side. So you want to fold this to this. Once you've got the angle of it, it's really easy to fold. And you do this to this. And you fold this to this. I'm going a bit quick because it just shows you how to do it. Turn this over here, so just do it again. Fold, and there you go, you've had your box. But so how I make this like this is you want to go and fold these up like this, you want to fold this to here. This is how I do this bit. Just fix that, and then open it up. Turn over and then do it same again, just so you have a another fold <sighs> like that, and then fold the things back down, open it up, put your hands all in there, squeeze it down. As you can see here, you have now we're doing them folds, you've now made it to fold this bit so you can hold your stuff like this and there you go and once you're done you have to do is just poke on this side bring these out like that just like this just do that once you've done that fasten it down there you go you get to just carry that just as a carrier and this i just bring that everywhere and sometimes they do get very wrecked like this one i don't know if it's still of it ah yeah it. Um, it actually squints it up because it was getting old at the time. Yeah, it, it does get very crundled up, and once you've done that, just squint it up. If it does ever do get crundled, just make you a new one. Come on, you do need one of these. So, you've done that simple bit. Now, what do you do once you've done all your pieces? Well, that's the next step. So, what you're going to do is I'm going to go and get one of these, and you see this bit where you fold it, so I folded these down, 
Let's lift this bit. You want to get this, put it in both pockets, and just put it just where it is like that. Make that ten in a row like this. Three. Just do that all in ten. And once you've done ten in a row, you want to do it to all your pieces. And if there's one like you've got four left, just put them together. There you go. Just keep it four. It doesn't always have to be ten. Once you've done that, then you want to go and get a Ziploc bag. And there's a reason why. Um, you want a bag, and I prefer these just because you can open it up, put them inside, close them, boom, done. Basically, you want to go put all your origami pieces in these bags, and there is a reason why. It's because so then they don't get any dust on them and this colour, especially the white ones, sure with this colour, and the black, uh, the white because it's it's big old colour. So yeah, but I would still put them all in the bag, just because. It makes them cleaner once at the end. There you go. And this is how you literally just store them. All your bags, don't care what you do, you then just store them somewhere. I just store them in that big box. And um, yeah, there you go. You're literally done with that. Boom. And why is this so fluffy, is it? <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Basically, how I store my origami pieces. And I'll be linked in the description down below to cut these with a knife and to fold these. And it does show you how to cut them. So, yep, there you go. That's the end of the video. And see you in the next one. Haven't already? Please do subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. And I might maybe do a video on these. You know. Yeah, another video. I might maybe do a second video on how to actually do one of these, because you know, I don't want to go like, oh, wow, oh, yeah, yeah, the big penguin, yeah, penguin boy, and I even made this, meant to be an easter egg, I think it, it is actually an easter egg, yeah, and then you squeeze it, it comes like a ball, I don't know, I prefer the ball, yeah, got a ball as well. This is, I say this is the coolest. Yep. A little bird or swan. Yeah, basically these are the things that you can make using them. Well, these are one out of six, four. I use one out of two if you don't have a colour. Oh yeah, and I made this all by myself. All this was from YouTube. This one I made all by myself. A little paintbrush, yeah. Just need to make a paint for it next. So yeah, if you are wondering what these actually are, yeah, it's basically going to have me to make all different types of stuff. So, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.